Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a random Target haul. I actually went to Target the other day, which I should have filmed this then because it's like pouring outside. And I just got home from work and tomorrow's Wednesday, which is when this is actually getting filmed and published and all of that. So it's Tuesday evening. It's time for a Target haul. So like I said, this is like super random, but I figured I'm always interested to see what people get at Target or Walmart or like clothing and I, I don't know. I just love watching hauls. Um, I'm gonna get to the clothes soon because I'm like super excited about fall stuff. Like it's basically fall weather slash winter for the majority of the year here in lovely, lovely Minnesota. It is the very beginning of September and I think the high today was like 62. It was really, really freaking cold today. So anyway, let's get with like the more weird stuff first and then I'll talk about the clothes. So I decided to get this bad boy. I've heard lots of good things about it. It is Barkeeper's Friend. It's a soft cleanser. Um, this is supposed to help with like, like scratches and stuff. I think in your like kitchen sink and it's good on cookware and bathroom and I don't know. I've just heard a lot of things about it that are good. So like stainless steel, porcelain, ceramic, tile, and copper. But I just got a small, like there was bigger ones, like massive jugs, but I decided to go with a small one and I will keep this in my kitchen. I also got these. I got two of them. I do the Tide Pods, the free and clear, um, or sorry, not free and clear, the free and gentle. Cause you know, my laundry needs to be gentle y'all. Um, I decided to get two of them because well, I needed more pods anyways. And um, they were buy two, get a $5 gift card. So I figured, why not? Oh, where am I gonna put all this stuff? Oh my gosh, sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to kick you guys. I need like a table here. <laughs> all right, and then I think this is actually a really fun purchase, but you guys might find it boring, but I don't care. Um, I will end up linking all of the products down below for you guys too. So if you're interested in checking out any of this stuff, feel free to check out the links, okay? All right. It's so heavy. So, I need a little backstory here. So when I was unpacking, um, or actually, let's back up. <laughs> when I was originally leaving Fargo and coming back to Minnesota and staying at my parents' place for a little while, I downsized, like, a lot. So I got rid of anything that just didn't really speak to me anymore and I just really wasn't a fan of. Well, in the process of doing that, I pretty much got rid of all of my serving bowls. I had a couple like mixing bowls, like I have like three clear mixing bowls, but I don't have any like proper serving bowls. So um, like the last couple times I've been at Target, I keep eyeing these bowls and I never buy them. So I figured I'm gonna do a haul. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna talk about those serving bowls. We're gonna do it. So I ended up getting four serving bowls and two are of the same size and you'll see why in a moment. So let me just unpackage these first because it's gonna be really, really loud and irritating. These are from the Threshold line. It just says Threshold Porcelain Dishwasher and Microwave Safe. I will show you the back of it real quick here. Let's see if it'll focus for me. Yes, it's focusing. Screenshot, guys, screenshot. Um, I will link these, like I said, um, down below. But I got this big bowl. And I like that it's footed. I think that's like so nice. And I like that it kind of has this like, I don't know, is this like a tulip or something? Is that what it is? I don't know. I think it's so nice. And it's like ginormous. Like this is the this is my head. It's like right next to my ear. This is huge. But I figured this would be good for um, you know, big things. So that's the largest one. Then this one is the medium, which is like perfect for like a really big bowl of popcorn. Like this is like a perfect bowl for that. Still the same style where it's got the footing on the bottom and like the fluted out tulip thing. Why am I calling it a tulip? I don't know. Maybe I've been looking at some flowers. I don't know. So that's the medium. And then this is the small. I actually ended up getting two smalls because I thought this would be good for like if I entertain or something and someone brings like a dip, like a queso or like a guacamole or something, these would be good for, you know, like around that size. So I got two of these. 
and oh I should have told you the prices oh darn it I don't have my hold on I might actually have my receipt somewhere let's find out I don't have my receipt um, I think it's downstairs somewhere and it's like in a bunch of piles of paper and I don't know but if you um, Click the little links down below, you'll see the prices of everything. But I'm super excited about these bowls. I don't know why. I am really, like, obviously you guys know I'm, like, crazy neutral lady. Um, but I love just, like, plain white dinnerware and clear dinnerware, too. I feel like you can just kind of jazz it up with other colors if you really want to so like if you're having a a birthday party and someone really likes the color like say orange for example well you can have your white and clear and then you can like incorporate you know bits of orange but you know say if you had blue dinnerware or something that might look like a little funny i mean i don't know i mean i guess I really like neutral stuff because it's like totally my jam, but I just like the idea that everything kind of coordinates together and if I see something that I like, like at Target or Home Goods or you know, anywhere and I and it's white, I know it's gonna match. Oh my god. Oh. That is so heavy, you guys. So I got some clothing. Actually I got some nail polish too. So oh, and I got some other cases. Okay. I got some really random stuff. First of all, I got this top that I'm wearing and it is by a brand. Actually, it's by this brand too. So let me pull this out. It's like a new brand called A New Day. Um, I have seen, if you guys follow like Instagram, it is, there's an account called Target Does It Again and it's like amazing and I love it. So I will put that link down below. But I am obsessed with their new stuff. Um, this is like a really, really soft gray. It, it looks like a chambray shirt, but it's not. It's like softer than that. And it's got little black stars on it. And I'm like normally not like a big print person, but I just, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was cute. And it's got like the two little things. I don't know. I've been wearing this all day, but um, I really, really liked it. And then I got this one, which is like a pullover top, so the buttons don't go all the way down. Again, I'll link these down below because it's like so hard to share. And then it's got like the two pockets. Um, this one has, it's just rolled sleeve, but it is a long sleeve. And it's so like lightweight and it's like a creamy color, but then the actual check on it is like a dark navy blue, which I thought would be really cute with some jeans and some boots or something. I don't know, for the fall. Um, this one was $19.99, right here. And unfortunately there were no cartwheel deals on clothing, but oh well. And I think this one was $19.99 as well. Um, let's see here. Oh, also in the same bag, they kind of like put things in different bags for some reason. This is the same brand, but this is a super, super cozy crew neck. And it has a little pocket right over here. And these kind of like, what, what kind of sleeves are these called again? They're like, are they like dolman sleeve? Is that what it is? It is a long sleeve and this is also $19.99. Um, and then in the back, if you can see kind of where the crew neck is, it like, I don't know, it like splits off a little bit. And there's no like split on the bottom, which I really like, but this is like, oh, like so soft and cozy. This feels like, like a baby sweater. I was like, I felt it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> So, I don't know, I just thought it was super cute. It's gonna be super cozy. And this, I feel like this is something that you could dress up and wear like a fun, like chunky necklace with it or even just like a simple necklace with it and a little vest. Um, I don't know, but also you could just like wear it as pajamas because that's the next thing I have in my lap. <laughs> All right, and I went to the O, oh, the, the O, oh, the um, pajama section and I saw these. These are by that Gillian or Jillian O'Malley. These were $16.99. And I gotta tell you, I'm kind of obsessed. It is the same, well, not the same. They're a little bit different. This is the sweater I just showed, and these are the pants. Um, they're a drawstring, which is like my fave. Doyle, what are you doing? He's creeping. Um, and also, they have pockets. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see the pockets? 
I don't know the last time that I actually got pajama pants that had pockets in them. They're fairly long and they have also like a really big, like this is my face. This is the cuff on them. They're really nice. So, and they're just like super, again, that like super, super soft, like baby sweater material. Oh, I'm kind of obsessed with it. So yeah. And then I did look at the washing instructions cause I was like, you know, I'm gonna have to freaking like hang dry these stupid pants. But it does say machine wash cold with like colors, gentle cycle, which is how I do everything anyways. So I'm really, really excited about these pants. I might actually even put them on tonight because I've been saving them in the bags because I didn't want to take out anything for the haul until, you know, this. Also, I got this cute little makeup bag. This is by Sophia Joy. And I thought I would use this for some of the organizing in my bathroom or in my desk, which is also kind of doubles as my vanity for things I just don't use as often. And I love how deep this is too. Um, it's got a little bit of color to it, which I'm like okay with. Um, it's got a little bit of this kind of like bright teal and then also navy and white. And it's got some light blue right here as well. But yeah, and I love the gold hardware. It's like totally my jam. And then this, let's see, it's by Sophia Joy. It does not have a price on it, but again, I'll link it below. All right, I've got one more bag left. So this is also some randomness. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I get into this bag, there's the nail polish I was talking about. All right. So I went over to the nail polishes because I really haven't bought a nail polish in I don't know how many years, maybe two, three years. That's bad because that means that all my nail polish is like epically old, but whatever. Um, I got this one, which is like a creamy, creamy taupe color kind of. I just, I thought this was so pretty and it kind of like, I felt like looked good on my skin and not everything does. Right now I'm currently wearing SE Fiji and I'll leave a link for that polish down below too. But this one is called Master Plan. It's color 680. I really like this and I thought this would be really pretty for the fall or just to have like more of a neutral nail. And then this one is called In Stitches number 608 and it was just like this really pretty creamy rose color. Um, something that I do with nail polishes, which if you guys don't like thin nail polishes, don't get Fiji because to get this kind of color consistency, three coats, you guys, three coats. And it's still like kind of streaky anyways, but I always with polishes, I open up the bottle because I'm crazy, but I always check to see like, you know, if it's thin, you know what I mean? Because if I wanted a thin nail polish, that would be fine. But typically I want it opaque in two coats. And I can usually like tell, but usually those lighter colors like Fiji, which I have on my hands right now, it's just one of those that always seems to be an issue. But like those super light colors, it's really hard. But I'm so excited about these new polishes. And I think I'm going to change up my nail polish here in a couple of days. So for the weekend, I think I'm gonna do something different, but I don't know, I don't know which one. I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know, one of these two. You can vote in the comments which one I should do. Hey. I got some other fun things. Some of the stuff I got on clearance actually too, so I'll go over that as well. Um, I live in Minnesota, as you guys know. This is a like, oil that escalated quickly um this is a minnesota sweatshirt Doyle, get out of there <laughs> it's like a nice big hoodie sweatshirt it was $24.99 um and it's got kind of that like lumberjacky kind of print it's got the little pouch in the front hopefully you can see it i'm like way super close um but yeah, basically Minnesota, I mean, we're not all lumberjacks, but we all aspire to be lumberjacks. And I just got done getting to going, not getting to, going to the Minnesota State Fair a couple weekends back. So um, I saw this and I was like, mm, yep, gotta have it. And I always love my clothing and my 
like especially my casual stuff well let's be honest like most of my clothes are casual like i feel like this is even casual even though i like can wear it to work or whatever can you get out of there jeez um but i love everything oversized like i just want to be comfortable and i don't like mm, tight stuff it just i don't know it doesn't suit me i mean there was a time in my life where tight stuff was all the rage but i think it was more like that was the style then too but now i feel like everything is kind of like that loose baggy oversized with like a really cute pair of leggings and boots and like you're good to go but anyway um but i love this thing i think this is so cute and it was in the women's section and i'm pretty sure this was a men's but whatever i don't care i'll i like it i'm gonna wear it um also uh oh i told you the price 24.99 i think okay this it was on clearance. It was originally $16.99 and is now $8.48. And this was the Julian O'Malley sleepwear. Again, nice drawstring in the front. And is there pockets on this one? Ooh, there's pockets on this one too. <gasps> pockets. And um, this one has a really big cuff as well. The uh, material is kind of see-through, but it's very different. It's really, really light, almost like it feels almost cool to the touch, which is kind of cool. Um, but I just, I, I just love a good sleep pant, and I always, always size up maybe one or two sizes in a sleep pant because, you know, again the comfort thing. Like especially if it's a drawstring like this, you can't really go wrong with oversized sleep pants, in my opinion. <laughs> More clearance things. Um, I found some of my favorite tank tops. Let's see here. Did I just get one of these? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, this is originally $8 and was $4. It's the Morona. And this, oops, here we go. Um, these are the little tank tops. They're like, let's see, can you see it? It's black. You probably can't see it. Let's try it with the other color. Um, these are like the like ribbed tank tops. I'm like literally wearing one right now too. But the ones that I currently have are really old but they're kind of like a longer tank top which i appreciate and um i just it's like i like that there's a little bit of stretch to it as well so i got one in black because they had one in my size and then they also had one in the navy so let me see if I, you can see the ribbing on it a little bit better yeah, so it's like ridged like that. It looks like really royal blue on camera, but this is actually navy. And then this one was also $4 on clearance. It was half price. So I was like, score, time to get one of those. And then let's see. Okay, down to the last two items, you guys. Woo! All right, and then I got two pouches that were actually in the like wallet section um by all the handbags and i thought these would be really really pretty this is um by massimo this is a light light pink like a blush pink and this is uh 14.99 from massimo whoa hello i thought this would be really nice to store my pens um as some of you have seen in my last plan with me i showed like a pen haul thing and i have a bunch of pens that i really don't use that often but i thought this would be really really pretty for um like all my colorful pens and then i did get another one because this won't be able to fit all of my pens and then i also got the there was one black one so i, I probably would have gotten two black ones to be completely honest if there was two but there was only one um but i figured this would be nice for all of my black and blue pens for when i do like pen testing and stuff and it seems to be definitely like wide enough for the pens and markers that I use. So I am very, very excited to start to organize with these. And I have heard your comments. I will be showing my Raskog cart. Um, I bought that from Ikea many, many moons ago, but I will be showing that in an upcoming video and I will probably be having these in there organizing all my pens. Do you guys see the dog? This is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. What are you doing, Doyle? What? What? What are you doing? Seriously. You coming over here? I think he was mad because I wasn't paying attention to him. <laughs> Hi, do it all. What? 
Hello. Okay, so Doyle decided to join me for a minute. He hates being held, but we're just gonna do it anyway because we get more views when Doyle is on camera. Right, Doyle? <laughs> Okay, so anyways, um, uh, we are gonna jet. This video is insanely long because I kind of rambled on on the weird things that I bought. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I will link everything down below for you that I can possibly find. Some will be from Target's website and some I'll just, uh, ew. Um, some of them I will just post from Amazon because I know Amazon links are sometimes easier for you guys. So. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to as many of you as I can. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content. Jeez, dog. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta finish the outro. Doyle, no one's touching your bed. Get out of here. <clears throat> All right, well, that's gonna do it for me. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>